So today I want to talk about how to start your writing journey as a software engineer. Now, why I'm talking about this because I write a lot and I have seen profound impact on myself because I have been consistently writing for four years. In the last four years, 2020, 21, 22, 23, I have written 165 articles, published it through my newsletter and wrote thousands of social media posts. I read at least one article a week on an average and two posts on social platforms, one in the morning, one in the evening on LinkedIn and Twitter. All of them, deep tech, no fluff, either on engineering or on career growth or on technical observation or on news. It is always relevant for engineers, right? So what can you write about, right? Or what did I write about? So I write about things that amuses me. Right. So because of the innate curiosity that I have now been able to build things that amuses me, I go deeper into it, try to understand. And once I have a basic understanding, I write about it and which solidifies my understanding. Right. So I write about career growth, paper dissections, advanced algorithms and whatnot. Let me walk you through my Substack that would give you an idea on, you know, the things I write about. So this is what my Substack homepage looks like on which you can say I write about career growth. I write about system design, I write about deep dives, dissect papers, have written a bunch of things about uh, out is dissection. Now, obviously, when I started writing, it was okay, okay, it was not fabulous, right? But over time, I improved a lot, right? Then I got structured into my writing the way all of my articles are uh, all of like I write my articles, there is a structure to it, right? And I try to make it attractive by adding a GIF over here. It looks pretty cool. If you go through my Substack, you would see, right? And then I've categorized it over here. No fancy tool, just one Substack newsletter and it's pretty much sorted, right? So you can categorize it on Substack if you like, right? Apart from this, I also publish it because basically Substack is for me, it's about uh, uh, distribution. It is not about the place where I own my articles. So I have my personal website on which all of these articles go. Everything that I ever wrote about anywhere, it goes over here. You can see topics like C Python internals, articles I wrote about it on programming, understanding HTTP protocols, the math behind TFIDF, then advanced algorithms. You would see career growth. You would see Pi accrual failure detection algorithm. There are some fascinating stuff, some implementation of consistent hashing, right? Things that amuses me, right? Instead of getting stuck with uh, like, hey, this is what I need for my work. This is what I would do. I have gone on massive breath to understand how things work, right? As simple as that. So pick anything that excites you, right? And then over time, don't think that your first article would be next level, mind blowingly awesome. And you would get thousands of likes and all over time. You would build it right now. Things I learned or things you would learn uh, uh, technically when you write consistently on social platforms. First of all, it helped me become a better engineer. No doubt about it. Two factors that contributed to it the most. First is I explored a lot of concepts and domains because of this. So I gained a massive breadth, right? Because I was always researching about my next article, right? And second is I loved writing about tough topics. For example, advanced algorithms like Flagele Martin, like, like fire accrual failure detection, fractional cascading, database internals, like these, I never thought that, Hey, I want to know this. That's why it's more about, I was stumbling upon something. I was surfing something, got something interesting. Let's deep dive into it. Right. That innate curiosity when you build, it just goes a very long way. Right. And non-technically I built three abilities. First ability is that I am able to now articulate my thoughts better, convey what I want to convey in a very nice way, be it emails, be it communication, be it announcement stuff everywhere. Plus it has helped me build an ability to think faster and deeper because now that I've touched a lot of concepts, touch upon tough topics, articulate my thoughts, wrote about it. It gave me an ability to think better and faster. Right. And third is now when I write things on social platform, it does not take a long time for me to write because I have been writing for four years. Right. So it becomes writing is easy. Plus I can make it engaging. Right. These are things that I gained uh, non-technically out of writing consistently. Now, why should you write? Because of all of these things. But on top of that, I believe is when we write, 
we think right so basically when you're writing something about any topic you would realize the gaps in your understanding that's when you would go back understand it and then rearticulate your thoughts that's really important because it is a way for you to do self introspection and make your concepts very clear it helps you build articulation is always there and as a very interesting by product you can build a personal brand that hey i like talking about this stuff i write about this stuff when people visit your profile or your substack they would see the same thing that hey this person writes about this stuff so this person has a detailed understanding of this topic and that's important that it's a win right it's a by product right don't drive for that but let it be a by product and enjoy the journey of writing now how should you start as an engineer it's very important that you start with a goal don't just go all over the place understand why you want to write is it because you want to build a brand is it because you want to build a deeper understanding or is it because you just want to get clarity in your thoughts and fill the gaps in your understanding right that's define that right so that you write you pick the topics of the articles to go in that direction right second is you identify the domain don't go all over the place don't start writing about finances personal finance and then career growth also and then leadership also and technical side also and database also right pick a niche pick 52 articles on that and start writing about each one of them skip it really simple so that you build a depth in a certain thing and pe- your readers won't get confused your readers should know what to expect or they should know what to expect out of your newsletter or out of your um uh, articles that you write right and more importantly when you start decide the 52 topics for that year because i have seen this whenever you have a well defined steps it becomes very easy to be on track the first thing that i did when i took my new year resolution i did not take it on 1st of jan right i took it in the last week of december and for two days me and my me and my colleague set together and decided these 52 topics is what i would be writing about i only used four of them or four or five of them because i was always stumbling upon something new right but because i had that cushion that i already knew the 52 topics that i can write about even if i have a slump period i do not have to put a lot of thought into a hey, what do i need to write about i have the topic and i can start writing about it right so pick a list of 52 articles that you would want to write about beforehand before you start everything and but how do you get those topics imagine things that you learned in the past try to recall them that could be the topic that you write about list the topics that you always wanted to know pick a domain pick a book and start writing about the stuff or go through existing articles from existing developers and take them as an inspiration and dive and start diving deep into those topics right so pick whatever works for you but more importantly have those 52 article titles ready right so that it helps you be on track right the next one it's which tools to use i keep it dead simple i use obsidian to write it's my knowledge base right i write everything everything that i write everything that i think goes in obsidian second i put everything on my personal website because that is a real estate on internet is my real estate on internet and third for distribution i use substack newsletters and linkedin newsletters right so that it goes directly in the inbox so that very likely people to be reading it right and one caution do not plagiarize this is something that is a big red flag because you know what happens is you may take inspiration from articles but in the process you might be bluntly copying them if original author finds it out that person can just make a post on social platform it would just ruin all the credibility that you build over the time so it is not worth it to plagiarize so if you take anything from any article cite it be it in article youtube video anywhere and second and most importantly because it's chat gpt and bardish era stop copy pasting do not copy paste from chat gpt and stuff because people know people can infer your readers will infer that this is chat gpt copy paste right be yourself write on your own because at the end be selfish it is you who are writing it you would be getting benefit it's not that you are not doing it for readers do it for yourself do it for your understanding your deep concepts the clarity that you would get out of it right always remember this don't just bluntly copy paste it does not mean to gain followers just because or because people are smart they are not stupid 
and if you get followership because of that then probably those are not the people who you want to follow you simple as that right okay and the next part all the very best for your writing journey it's amazing it has been four years of me writing on social platforms and articles and whatnot it has been truly truly life changing it has been a game changer for me to be honest i am much more deeper i am much more like i think a lot now i write very quickly it has changed it has changed the game for me right and if you like this thank you so much for watching and i keep writing deep text stuff across my socials uh, if you resonate do give me a follow twitter github find the list find this link if you like what i uh, if you find what i write interesting give me a follow on substack and that's where i go very deep into things that i write i have recently started a series on career growth you might find it amusing right so yeah this is all what i wanted to talk about all the very best with your writing journey that's it for this one i'll see you in the next one thanks a lot